well, 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 we're back here at the pad and the model car situation is looking very, very dire. But stay tuned, we got a lot of big announcements, starting with this massive box that I teased about a few days ago. Now, this is a Black Knight's F14A Tomcat, 118 scale by JSI, I believe. They never make 118 scale airplanes because obviously, look how big this thing is. It is absolutely massive. The packaging is immaculate. Check out these sidewinder missiles, the fuel tanks, the stabilizers, the fins, the tails, just everything and anything under the sun. Super, super dope. And we got the packaging right over here. Check out this missile right here too. Super dope. But we'll be assembling this at a later time. For now, we got to take the Lambo to service and we got a lot of major announcements on the channel. Stay tuned. This is an absolute nightmare for anyone that owns an E-Gear Lamborghini bumper to bumper traffic we're actually moving at a pretty decent pace and we got this massive lifted silverado oh yeah we're headed to raging bull performance for the annual service of the super g and i'm a little low on fuel all right boys we made it in one piece the traffic was absolutely insane not great for the e-gear on the super g man she's looking absolutely fine as a dime look at that in white i'm telling you accentuates the body and the rear we're keeping the stock boys we're just doing the annual service on the gallardo here man looking beautiful glistening in the sun we got some pretty sick cars here a raging bull we i see some lp 640s in the back i see a roadster right here man we gotta pick one up for the channel relatively soon before prices go even higher Jeez, black on black and another one all the way down there as well Hold on a second. Check out this Maserati with the wean. Whoa. You never see these with aftermarket wings. That's crazy. Got the F12. You got the Aventador with the blue matching wheels. And then another one in yellow. Good set of cars. Always a good time here at Raging Bull. They're going to take care of you guys. Make sure you guys are swing by the shop. Give it any needs for your Lambos, supercars. But always a good time here at Raging Bull. Let's head out, boys. We need to talk about today's sponsor right over here, Manscaped.com. They're going to hook you guys up. They hooked me up with the Performance Package 4.0. It's all you need for hygiene, trimming, grooming, designed specifically for men. Let's open it up right over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Check this out. It's got all the goodies right over here. My favorite product here in this entire box is the Lawn Mower 4.0 right over here. It's great for beer maintenance, but it was designed with advanced skin safe technology. That way you don't cut yourself in the more sensitive parts of your body. It's cordless and waterproof so you can trim in the shower. Now if you're traveling and you want to lock it up, tap it three times right over here. One, two, three. Now it's completely locked and type it three more times to disengage. Boom. Now to charge up, you got this wireless charging dock right over here. Insert it as such. The light's gonna turn on and it's gonna give you 90 minutes of juice at full battery. Also included in the box are these two bottles right over here. We got the Crop Preserver, the Ball Deodorant, and then we got the Crop Reviver. The Crop Reviver has a cooling aloe vera, so give it a little squirt to quickly refresh the area whenever you need it. You've also got the Weed Whacker right over here. It's a nose and ear hair trimmer, super compact and easy to use. It's got the same 360 degree rotary blades with the skin safe technology, just like the body trimmer. Hook yourselves up guys, opt in for the full performance package 4.0 and get the best bang for your buck. To make things even easier, you can enroll in the peak hygiene plan and get ongoing replenishments of all your favorite products delivered straight to your door. For a limited time only, when you get the performance package 4.0 with all this stuff here, you're also gonna get two additional free gifts. You're gonna get the anti-chafing boxer breeze you're gonna get the shed travel bag right over here. Listen up guys, if you wanna support the channel and show just a little bit of love, go to manscaped.com, enter the promo code FSPOT at checkout. You're gonna get 20% off, free international shipping, and of course these two free promotional items. There's a link down below, click on it, hook yourselves up. For the time being, back to the video. Max Showstack over here, recently sold his Golf GTI many months ago. Yeah. What have you picked up for the audience, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's an ISF. What, what year is it? 2008. 2008, just like my Prius. Beautiful. Oh yeah. It is looking, it is a criminal Bell 40 spec, black on black on black. Got the black interior looking beautiful. Black exterior, black wheels, and the black calipers. 
There's a few little uh, scuffs here and there on the wheels, but that was all part of the deal. We got it for a really good price. I'm hearing a lot of ruckus over there. I think there's a protest on Rodeo Drive. Let's hop in here. The back seats are looking Chick-fil-A. Oh no! I've always loved the ISFs. I remember seeing their commercials in the movie theaters. Have you ever seen that, Max? Dude, triple slingshot rental game. That's a good time. There is a lot going on. This guy just ran a red. There's three <laughs> slingshots. Everyone's honking. Everyone's upset. And now there's a protest. I'm guessing it's for PETA anti-fur. Fur trade. There it is. Martini livery on the... Can you guys see that? Hold on. Oh, no. The flower bed. Hold on. Through the sunroof. Through the sunroof. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's awful. Oh, no. Model X. That Urus is actually not a bad spec. That Urus is a pretty nice spec. So we're just on our uh, the memos here on the I ISF. Let's see what we got going on today. Oh, a Ford Festiva. Of all things to drive in Los Angeles, this guy's still rocking the Ford Festiva. Look how skinny those tires are. Those are some tiny ass tires and I hope you have a great night, sir. Check this thing out. Hold on a second. That is Super Mint M5. Now, my memory is really rusty. I do not know the name of this color. Is it Interlagos Blue? No manual? No manual. Okay, that's all right. You know, these V10s, man. These are a rare sight these days. Rare sight. Dude, look at this, the Benz and the Beamer. Whoa, that's a sick combo. That is a really, I'm liking it. Check out this S600 with the walled wheels, baby. 99, he just picked it up. Two V12 brothers on Rodeo Drive. That's sick, dude. Love the car, man. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Whoa, we are seeing all sorts of cool shit tonight i know this is the leap in beverly hills has been dead lately but look at this 1999 w140 s600 with the walled wheels this is insane how many miles do you have on this thing i got 105 105 000 miles still brand spanking new yeah just that's got it awesome he yeah. just picked it up we were just cruising around i haven't driven my car in three weeks and of all nights we run across a fellow brother. Yeah, once I saw you, I had to cut across from the second lane. To Hell the yeah, you got the sunshade up. There you go, gotta That's block it. the haters. Impromptu Mercedes Benz me. We had no idea what this guy did, but he got lit up for no reason. Expired tags, broken hell. I had no clue. Uh, cowboy hat. Love the hat, sir. Love the hat, sir. What I don't love is this thing. Welcome to Worst Off Spec. This S-Class with the orange calipers has got to go. Not sure about this color on the Corvette either. I don't know. And a GT53? That's no good. Three for three. Ugh. Check out the dog in the Jeep. Doggo! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's awesome. Worst off spec, worst off spec. Even the diffusers paint to ma uh, match. Oh, no. That's a different one, yeah. Guys, we have a different highlighter yellow Range Rover. This one's got a non-paint, non-painted rear diffuser. It's black. What? All right, someone's doing the burnout. We're currently at the Midnight Sudoku. No, Sakudo. Me. There's a drive to DTOA. We got the address right over here. It's getting a little rowdy. At a drop of a hat, everyone just goes ham. All it takes is one person. The rest is history. Sticker, hold on, check out the Mopar sticker. Wait, 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 wait. Yes! Oh!
that guy do to his M4? Oh, oh, oh. Here at DTLA Lower Grand, a pretty sizable turnout. Look at this drone. Oh yeah. We got a 50th anniversary GTR over there. Look at that. Okay, not bad. And we got this thing here. Ooh. That's nice. I hear sirens. New address been posted up. We're gonna head home. Yes, that's a wrap for us boys. That's so annoying. But I get it. We're trying to rush people out of here. Oh my god, dude. All four. Four of them. Jeez. We're in business, boys. It's running pretty. Pretty nice. A little rattly in here. Let's go hang out with the Osaka crew tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the Osaka Outlaw meet. JDN nights, look at this S2K. We got Mike's M3, it's back from the shop after three months. Are you kidding me, Mr. Uncle Mike with the Bozo van? Oh shit, right hand drive man. What's up my What's up, man? Brother? Happy birthday brother. Ohio. Dude, yes. Look at this, the whole squad's here. Dang, that's sick. Oh man, hold on a second. <laughs> Yo, Finally check out the, it, new, dude. the new wheels. New wheels, I lowered it. Dang, it looks beautiful. It looks so sick, dude. I love it. Is that your car behind you? or? Uh, that's my buddy's. It's a Night Sport RX-7. Oh, right hand drive, it's pretty really nice. Yeah. Right hand drive. We got the pipes on, boys. Look at this. Yes, sir. Woo! JDM nights. Yeah, first time together. Oh, man. Now we're rolling. This is a squad and a half. Oh, I gotta turn the car off. Hold on. Boom. Put it in gear real quick. Oh, jeez. <laughs> JDM combo rifle. Right Look at that. Jeez. Got a TDR here of all things. We got Uncle Mike rolling out in the Bozo van. We got the RX-7 and one of the most beautiful paint jobs I've ever seen. The green is astounding. Zoku culture and Kaido Racer culture in Japan, they don't have to worry about all these crazy speed bumps, cracks, potholes, just dog shit roads in America. Everything in, in Japan is super smooth. So, man, what an experience. Love this car. It looks absolutely beautiful. This is a momentous occasion. Having all three cars here lined up. The last time this happened was when Shmi 150 was in town. We took him in a ride in every single one of these cars, minus the Prius and, of course, the V12 Century. That's still in Japan, but stay tuned for that. You're probably wondering to yourself, which car is going for sale, judging by today's video title? Luckily, it's only one car, and it's going to be the Kata Racer slash Bozuzoku car. This car and the S600 were imported at the same time about a year, or almost two years ago. Pretty crazy how time flies, but we'll be putting the car up for auction on JDMsupply.com. That's run by my friend Alec. He runs the Instagram handle at JDM. Not sure how you got it, but the guy's super smart, intelligent. His brand new auction site specializes in just JDM cars. So there will be a full walk around video for this particular Kata Racer slash Bozoku car. I'll show you all the ins and outs of this particular car, all the details, all the mods I did in Japan. I believe this is the only Kata Racer in all North America that was properly modified in Japan, imported from Japan, and now it's here in the States for you to bid on. So there will be an auction site at JDMsupply.com. Stay tuned, guys. 
Hopefully you guys have a fun time bidding on this car. If you have any interest, any questions, send me a DM or write a comment below. We have two different splitters. This is the longer variant right over here. We have another untouched, brand new, shorter variant of the front splitter that's in my apartment. And it's gonna also include an extra rear tire. These are super wide. Let me check the size right, right over here. These are 245 slash 525s in the rear. Very expensive. You can only find them in Japan or on auction sites in Japan. They're extremely expensive. They're like five, six, seven hundred dollars a piece. So you're gonna be getting an extra rear tire with the entirety of the car and the extra front splitter. So stay tuned guys, happy bidding. And I'll be posting this particular car on my Instagram as well, just in case you guys missed this particular video. That being said, we gotta roll out. Let's check this out. We're filming the three cars and we found a new neighbor in the garage. Check this out, 992 GT3. Blacked out wheels, black calipers, whatever uh, Naro gray is in Porsche colors, that's the color, looks pretty good. 